to create a meeting in HubSpot, simply log into your HubSpot account and then click this part here, sales, go to the meetings um, section and then create a scheduling thing. Okay, if it is a group meeting, you can also choose this one, but let's just start first on one-on-one -on -one meeting. So click that and then, oh, I think, let me just remove this one. Is I only have one option. Yeah, I cannot create more meetings at the moment, but basically you just need to click that and choose this one and you will be redirected to some sort of this page. Okay. So for the internal meetings, you put your, um, um, this would be the the format so meeting with and then replace it with your full name and then um the title would be call with and then let me just remove this one so you have basis so call with and then you change you put the token so first name and then um last name so basically this will be the first name and last name of the client that will be booking to you and then um, choose the company name and then I'm going to add a separator there and put my name and my company name. Okay. Now, since we're going to use a um, Outlook themes, what you can do here first is go into the manage extension and then type in Outlook and go to the actions and go to settings. So basically why we are doing that because we wanted to double check if our calendar is synced on our HubSpot account. So click this meeting tools here and then go into the calendar section and then here so make sure if you have a lot of calendars that you want to zinc into your hubspot you can choose like you can select here you can put multiple calendars so i have two calendars at the moment i have a calendar which is the default and i also have a custom um, calendar okay so make sure that you you select the right calendars here and yeah, so we're pretty good in that part. So I'm going to close that. It, it will automatically save. So don't worry about that. We just need to double check if the calendar is synced properly. Okay. So under the location part, if you want to use themes, the Outlook themes, um, you need to open your, you need to open your themes account or themes chat. And then go in in this part here called calendar and then we will generate a special or personal link okay and then put it i mean this one is just for internal purposes you can use whatever name you you want and then click the generate account and then normally you will see this long personal link thing now I would suggest that you make it shorter. So just go into the bit.ly and then we'll integrate that one. I'm going to log in. Okay. So click the create and then you put your personalized teams link. As you can see here, it's too long. So I would prefer to shorten that part and then click the create. Okay, after that title for the conversation, I would prefer to have call with and then the company and then here for the custom um, linked, I want it to be a little bit more personalized. Okay, um, create tags, uh, you can skip that part. If you want to put a tags, um, feel free to do so. Click that and click copy and then put it here. Okay. And for this part, like the description, I can remove this one here and this will be the description that you will be putting 
so hi and then the first name make sure that you put the personalized token which is the first name and a comma and then this description and if it is a customized meeting you can always change the description make sure as well that you change the um, number or you can keep the office number and then for this part um like make sure also put this one and hyperlink to your personalized account okay and then once you're done include cancel and schedule links to the event description yo this is new so we can enable that part yeah like if they want to reschedule that thing and then once i think we're done in this part we can jump into the scheduling section so for the scheduling section um um you can keep this as is and then i also prefer to just have like a duration and then for the duration options if you want to accept um like if you want to have different options that they can choose you can also like check this mark here for me i just prefer to have a 30 minute duration and then pacific and here the time frame normally it's nine should be 9 a.m to but i'm based in philippines so my time here is different so for the um additional settings double tap that um, choose custom image upload your um, picture and then here for the buffer time if you want to um, get notified this, this is basically self-explanatory if you want to add buffer um, time and increment something you can put your preferred um, adjustment there okay so once you're done click save and then we'll jump into the form section so for the form section basically we normally ask the first name the last name the contact email um, email address and then the phone number i don't have the sales because i rarely do a a call so but in your case you normally have an options to put a contact property so make sure you select the mobile number the title position and the company name okay so yeah yeah you can do that and then for the additional settings as well um control whether you're not pre-populated and it turns your site you can keep that disabled and then for the automation thing make sure that this part as well are um are enabled because we want to receive a reminder before the meeting starts so include a description always check that as well um, for um yeah so include that click the save and then click the back to meetings if you open your HubSpot meeting page this would be like how it looks here so if you check the meetings duration I only have one options but if you have like if we have, if we put different options here under the scheduling, let's say 15 minutes saved. So you're basically giving them an options to choose whether they want a 30 minutes meeting or a 15 minutes meeting. Okay. And then once you're done, um, you can also, okay also embed this meeting page to a different page uh, to a different um, website so click that embed and just simply copy paste that um, that code so that's it um, if you have any questions please let me know